what's good everybody welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm going to show you guys how to create a whole entire 3d room inside of after effects no plugin will be needed and it's pretty simple to understand to do so first of all what you'll need to have is textures um you'll need to have textures of floors and walls to create the actual room so i'll just scroll into the internet and take the textures that i want once you have all the, once you gathered all of the textures that you that you need for your room all you can do is simply set up your 3d camera so i'm just going to use my 3d5 pro plugin to do that automatically with one click it's in the description by the way if you're interested in that plugin so as you can see everything was set up now what i'm going to do is simply import my texture of the floor and i'm simply going to convert it into 3d and simply rotate it like so at a 90 degrees angle all right so now what i'm going to do is simply scale it up a little bit like so and now i'm simply going to import the wall texture that i just downloaded so now i'm just going to scale it down convert it into 3d and simply try to place it correctly and switching from one view to two views will really help us understand the perspective of our scene so just do that and simply work with a two perspective like this you can also stretch your textures like so for it to fill up the whole composition and to match up with all the textures. So I got my back wall right there. I'm going to simply duplicate this layer right there and just do the side walls. Now I'm simply going to do a roof, so I'm simply going to duplicate this layer right there and I'm simply going to rotate it like so. Alright, it doesn't look like much yet, but it's the beginning. This is only the foundation. So now what you're going to have to do is simply make sure to select all of your textures and place them under the 3d camera so now if you want to navigate into your room you you can do it and as you can see you already have a 3d room but it's not enough so let's add some furnitures and 3d models to it you can also stretch the floor texture if you think it's too small all right now it's time to add 3d models to it all so what i'm going to do is simply go into the internet and go into sketchfab it has a lot of free 3d models that are pretty good so i'm simply gonna download a couple of furnitures so just search up the things that you want to search as a 3d model pick one scroll down a little bit until you see download 3d model and make sure to download the glb format this is the format that after effects accept without using 3d elements if you don't have it once you gathered all of your 3d models what you're gonna have to do now simply import them into your scene so i'm simply gonna do that and as you can see a simple drag and drop is enough so simply place it and position it into your after effects scene and now just do that all over again with all of your 3d models so i'm simply gonna speed up this process right there okay so now that you have placed all of your 3d models what you're gonna have to do now is simply go ahead and right click right there and add a new light this will add a little bit of realism to your, to your scene make sure to add a point light and i'm simply gonna put the point light towards the ceiling lamp and as you can see when you scroll that thing down and go to light options you can control the strength of the light like so all right i'm gonna keep it at 50 you can also change the color of the light put it yellow i'm gonna add another light and this time i'm gonna add a spotlight i'll place it right there like that and you can also change the intensity of this light and the way it reacts with the environment so this seems okay you can also put the corner angles a little bit bigger like this okay so i'm satisfied with this so now what i'm going to do is simply create a new null object 
so i'm gonna go to no object right there i'm gonna transform it into 3d and now i'm gonna simply select all of the things that i just imported like this and i'm simply gonna parent them to the no object and like that i can control the whole environment with this node and why i did that is just for me to scale the, the environment as a whole for it to fit in the screen okay and also to make it move and now just make sure to extend the floor and the ceiling like so now let's start the animation so first of all you're gonna have to go to your 3d camera click on p to pull out the position properties now you can do it the traditional way with the keyframes and everything everybody know how everybody knows how to do this but i'm gonna do it the fast way with my automation 3d plugin so i'm simply gonna start off the animation like this and, I, and i'm gonna simply do a zoom out i'm gonna simply select the zoom out preset animation and then i'm gonna apply it to my 3d camera so it doesn't go far enough so let's fix that okay and i want it to last longer like so all right okay i'm simply gonna easy ease the keyframe by clicking this button right there and it makes the animation a lot smoother now i'll just i'll just place this keyframe a little bit at the center like so And I'm gonna simply add a realistic 3D camera shake with my 3D5 Pro plugin. And just so you guys know, both of 3D5 Pro and Automation are two plugins that I created. And you can have them both with this Ultimate 3D Camera Bundle for After Effects. This bundle will allow you to save a lot of time while doing 3D creations in After Effects. And it will allow you to save money if you buy it in bundle instead of just buying this plugin separately. So this is how it looks. And it's pretty smooth for an After Effects only animation. And yeah, all I'm simply going to do is simply pre-compose it. And I'm going to add some extra effects to it. Now, the final result, as you can see, is pretty clean. and gives me a really vintage look with this VHS filter that, has, that I just put on. And if you want to know how I put this filter on, don't hesitate to follow me and to watch this video right there. I'll teach you all the secrets about the VHS look and I'll see you guys right there.